It's a wonderful day to wander, friends. And today, it's day two, technically? Technically day two. Of the International Airstream Rally. And we're gonna start the day by going for at least a 10 mile run. At least we're gonna try. We're at altitude, so we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, it's a little more difficult, obviously, but uh, yeah. But if you love Airstreams, even if you don't think that our running stuff is fun, you're gonna enjoy this video today because of how many cool and unique rigs you're gonna see. I mean, obviously Dash is fired up about it. Fired up. Are you fired up? Fired up. Are you fired up? Fired up. Uh, 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 uh. Say, let's go, mommy and daddy. <laughs> So, granted, we've not run in a week, and there's that, but uh, we're not in like terrible shape. And, oh, I tell you what, when you're Flatlanders, we're sitting at, I think we mentioned six or 7,000 feet. My gosh, you can feel it. It's like, uh, I, mean, I don't have to tell you if you've been out to, but it's like you just can't catch your breath. And it's not like your heart rate is spiked or anything. Oh, there you go, I forgot to start my watch again, so. I mean, some bonus mileage for me at the end, but yeah. Yeah, this is gonna make a, the runs here a bit more challenging, but that's not such a bad thing though. A lot of pro athletes train at altitude and race at sea level. So, so we're getting some of that pro level training this week at altitude. And hopefully the benefits will pay off when we get back to lower altitudes. Hi, how are you feeling so far? Good. Yeah? Easy peasy. Is beautiful. Easy peasy. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Just made it to the bottom of the hill here at the complex. We knew it was big, but this complex is huge. We're at the section called Boar's Tusk Campground. And check this out. Look how many sites there are just in this one section. And there's other sections here as well that we'll take you to. And we are in the White Mountain section, which is uh, near the top of the hill. So needless to say, you can see how they fit over a thousand RVs in one spot. It's a really big place. That is a lot of air streams. All right, run complete. I got 10 in. How many did you end up getting, D? Uh, on GPS, four. In reality, you did five, at least. Five. Yes, Okay, oh nice. Not too bad. So, tree story. We honestly should be showering because, well, we're pretty gross. But we're, we're hungry. Oh, so we're, we're campers, but yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna run down and go see if we can't find some grub. And apparently they've got this really cool new club, maybe within the last couple of years, that is for future Airstreamers. And so we're gonna go meet up with some other parents, get some ice cream, which probably means we're gonna be eating ice cream before lunch. But I guess that's okay because we ran, right? Start with the end in mind. Or just start it. with the end. Start with the is end. There... Threw it out there so I figured you knew. <laughs> Look at how precious that one is. We'll come back and see it in a minute. That looks awesome. Yeah. Look at all the flamingos. Oh, man, I love a good theme. Okay, so we got derailed because, well, you know how we're really good at forgetting things places? Daniel kind of left our dog bone that gives us power. Uh, at one of the places we hooked up last. Shocking, right? So we gotta see if we can find one or else we're gonna either have to drive around with the van for like a couple hours or... Nope, yep, that's basically all we can do. So, wish us luck. In our search for dog bone adapter, uh, 
place is absolutely packed the vendor tent right now so we're just gonna come back and do a more thorough search but uh, yeah so to be continued dash wanted to let you know first he loves ice cream second we are so pumped to get to hang out with other Airstream kids and third filming other people's kids are super weird so we're not gonna be doing any filming in here but I heard from a girl named Kate that I just met a few minutes ago she's got a little boy named Charlie who's in, or who's Dash's age apparently there are 85 kids here this year which is like amazing because I think the first year we came there were like Dash. three <laughs> so this is gonna be fun not gonna be able to bring you along but we'll be back in a few What have you done, Dee? Pickle. Pizza. Which we have not had since we were in Austin. Not gonna lie, we're so freaking excited. And not to mention, we're freaking starving because it's probably been like three hours since we told you we were gonna go buy lunch. And well, now we're here. Would you eat pickle pizza? Yes or no? You know the jam. Leave a comment below. Pickles on pizza. If you have not tried it yet, trust me, it's delicious. It sounds like bananas, but it's really good. This is now our third rally. Three years ago, we were in... Tennessee. Tennessee, that's right, Tennessee. Last year, we were in Maine. Um, Baby Moose Dash had a great time up there. It was great exploring Acadia National Park. And this year we're in Wyoming, and these grounds are, the views are breathtaking, the grounds for the event, incredible. The food options with the food trucks, so many more than we had last year. Um, overall, it's been an absolutely great experience. We're seeing more friends than we did last year. That's kind of how this community works. The longer you're in it, the more friends you make, the more people you meet when you're here. So that part of it is always fun for us because we get to meet you in person. Speaking of meeting you, if you haven't heard already, we're hosting our very first camp local rally in Northern Georgia in November. There's tons of details posted either below or you can visit one of the many social media sites that we use as well. But you want to make sure you come because we would love to hang out with you in real life. Check it out. All right. I've looked extensively through the, the vendor section area here. There's no dog bone connector. Um, and then I thought to myself, you probably don't even know what the heck we're talking about when we say dog bone connector. Um, what that basically means is that you have different amperage levels. Um, I don't even know what it, I wouldn't have known what an amperage level was before we started our Yeah, day. Yeah, like, like plugs, right? So think about like when you travel to another country and you need an adapter, right? Um, it's the same sort of concept. So in this instance, the pedestals that provide power to all the RVs here are at 50 amp amperage and our RV is at 30. So what I'm basically looking for that's called a dog mode adapter is just that. It just adapts the power from 50 and converts it to, you know, it's got a socket for a 30 amp outlet. And there are 15 amp outlets, 30 amp outlets, 50 amp outlets, and so on. So that's kind of how that works. Now you know. Now you know. And no one's out the battle. Do -do -do. The truth is we may never shower today, but that's because we have some good news. While all of the typical locations for an adapter would normally have it in stock, they don't, but there's a local Ace Hardware store that has one in stock. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go there. They close pretty soon. So at this point, we're gonna have to pack up the campsite and we're gonna head up the block to pick up our adapter. We're gonna come back and then at that point, we'll have everything we need. The reality of that is a little less simple. We got some of Dash's clothes being hand washed. We have all the stuff everywhere. Haven't made the bed for the day. How long do you think it'll take us, Dee? 
Um, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable right now, so it's really, I don't know, we're relaxed, but we have to go do this. It's 4.30. The batteries will go a long time. Not a full week. Not a full week. Especially Not if we don't drive. Especially without driving. Yeah, it, because I think we still don't know at this point if the solar panels are damaged because, I mean, in theory, it should be charging a little bit more than it has. Oh, got monkey baby back here that I'm going to tend to. But yeah, so there's a few variables here. So we're going to get our adapter and then that is problem solved because when we're on shore power, which means we're connected to the power uh, pedestal, we have nothing to worry about. And then maybe we'll shower. Okay, it's five, I can't even say that, 507. It took us about 30 minutes for a completely unplanned move. I kind of think isn't that bad. What do you think, Dave? I think that's great considering we had everything set up. Like everything, like we were going to be stationary for a week. So that's actually really good. We didn't move any of our stuff outside. We just let that be because, well, we're here with a whole bunch of air streamers and we know it's going to be fine. But we did make sure that everything was in place other than some clothes that like are so light it's not going to do anything. Let's go get that dog bone. <laughs> what is happening here? Thought I'd get a roadie here for the road. Maple root beer. Uh, hello, deliciousness. So good. You don't even dash as hard as it's still. With maple syrup. Okay, that's all awesome. yes. Okay. I mean, the whole situation is driving me to drinking root beer, apparently. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, What's that Joe Dirt saying? Life is a garden. Dig it. There's not much you can do. Just gotta roll with it. Or the great words of Forrest Gump. Life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Groceries officially secured and in their places. And Dash and Daddy hanging out and watching this sunset. Holy moly. And they're having a lot of fun. What are they, what are you two doing? <laughs> you want to try it, Dash? Look. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got it, dude? What do you think? <laughs> he loves all silly noises right now. There's so much fun. But holy moly, that sunset is so pretty. Oh, Wyoming. We're a yeah. fan. But time for showers in bed. So? Yeah. Yeah? That's important. So Baby Dash, do you want to show off your bird PJs? Are they the greatest PJs ever? Say, I love birds. Yeah, they're pretty great. <laughs> Aren't these cute? Okay, for real, one yeah. of the biggest negatives about learning a new rig is how much you injure yourself learning a new small space. I was about to turn the camera around and sign off for the evening, but look what I just did. I literally jammed my knee into the microwave. Speaking of, I also have like a cut here, a cut there, a cut there. Huh? Dee, do you have any tiny injuries? I don't even feel injuries anymore. I'm immune to injuries. Dash, do you have any tiny injuries? You just got a, a print on your face for the carpet, didn't you? He has a Tommy Bahama imprint on his forehead now. Look at this. We are bad parents. Here, oh buddy. <laughs> Okay, he's not willing to show you. 
Maybe. You're going to show everybody? Look. He got a little carpet burn on his face. <sighs> We're getting injured over here, y'all. You know what? Honestly, though, when we got the classic, the exact same thing happened. <laughs> it's just weird when you learn a new small space. Like, your body's just not used to it yet. Right, Dash? <laughs> Back to the sunset, y'all. Back to the sunset. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> all right but true story we gotta run injured and all if you haven't already this week bye. make sure you want to local because as you know it's good for the soul say bye bye you have to wave you have to wave into the camera yeah. say bye friend see you tomorrow <laughs> okay no he says it's sleep time let's do this mommy All right, we'll sign off with this today. <laughs> Goodbye, friends.